Adam, I want to go to my panel for more on health care reform and tax reform and whether or not it's ever going to happen. We have with us tonight the CEO of American Majority and former George W. Bush presidential writer Ned Ryan. And we also have former Hispanic Chamber of Commerce member and former DNC official Pablo Manriquez, also a co-founder of K Street Media Company. Good to have you both here. Thanks, Trisha. Ned. Trisha, Ned. <laughs> uh, you know, they, they promised they were going to get this done, repeal and replace. And I think perhaps what we just saw is yet another example of why Americans are so frustrated with Washington right now. I sure hope it doesn't happen with tax reform, but what are the chances we're going to see the same darn thing? Well, you know, at this point, uh, everything's on the table of what could actually happen. I think the thing that's making it increasingly difficult now with health care is, again, John McCain's health situation. Um, I do think that Mitch McConnell should put a vote up next week on repeal to put people on the record, the Murkowskis and the Capitos of the world, and say, you know what, you voted against, you voted for repeal in 2015. Now when it really counts, let's put you on, let's put you on the mark. You know, the thing, though, that uh, I'm a little encouraged by is even though I think health care reform is going to be a little bit longer process than we would have originally hoped, mm -hmm. I think you can still deal with some health care reform in tax reform. And so I think there's a possibility for us to really go after costs. I mean, this is one of the things, Trish, about this whole health care right, But I don't know debate. if tax reform is going to get done. I'll be perfectly honest, Ned. If they couldn't get this it's done, not. how are they going to get <laughs> tax reform? Pablo, you say no, it's not? Tax reform is not going to get done, and Trump care is not going to no, get done. And the, the reason thing, though, why it's simple it's amateur hour in the Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell show on Capitol Hill right now. They've made a lot of promises. And Ned, as you remember, the big criticism from the center when they introduced the, the original Trump care bill in the House was that it wasn't really a health care bill. It was a tax cut bill. And I, and I think that beyond the basic incompetence of the Republican leadership now on these issues, if you want to appeal for some, to, to something like tax reform on the left, Basically, the big obstruction is going to be twofold. One, Bernie Sanders, whose message has been consistent for a long time and has appealed to a lot of people, not just on the left, but on the center left. And the other is Donald Trump. Is this going to be an honest conversation? Not just with the Trump, but with the entire Trump family. Of Do you personally, as wealthy Americans, I, wait, deserve wait, wait, a tax cut? Wait, wait, wait. I, I, okay, I'm going to jump in for a second because, fine. Pablo, this is Econ 101. Lower taxes equals prosperity. Period. End of story. You can tell me anything you want about Bernie Sanders and socialism. It right. doesn't work from an economic Trish, perspective. I, in, the, in the sale of tax reform, that's just never been effectively put forward in a way that the American people understand. The only people who actually get jobs when tax reform gets brought really, up Pablo? are lobbyists Ned, here do, in Washington. Do you think that there's no bipartisan support for corporate tax reform when we continue to be the most expensive place in the world to do business? 100 percent, because let's not forget, Pablo, that there are 10 Democrat senators sitting in deeply red states in 2018 that are more moderate. You look at the Joe Mansions of the world and you think maybe we can have a good conversation with these guys about getting good tax reform through, whether it's, again, taking the corporate tax from 35 to 15 or, you know, maybe make a compromise for 20 percent. You know, the, Trish, the one thing that I want to see is the repatriation of the revenue that's sitting overseas, $2.6 sure. You get you bring that back to the United States, do a 10 percent tax holiday, bring in $260 billion that you could put towards infrastructure, put towards building the wall. I'm going to so, one-up you. I want more than a tax holiday. I want it to be permanent, that you can bring that money that's already been taxed overseas back into the United States of America to create jobs here. Pablo, this should be a win-win, regardless of what political yeah. aisle you're on. No, I mean, and I think that you, me, and Ned here on the Intelligence Report have been able to come to a lot of consensus on these complex issues, but it never gets sold effectively to people who don't understand, okay, who, that to is people fair. who have never a, 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 a tax but, cut but, or a corporate tax cut or a capital gains tax. All people right, who so make well, their money and put it in the bank. But, but, no, 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 he's on something. No, no, messaging. no. It is messaging. No, it has been messaging. And I'm actually going to agree with you, Pablo, that okay. Republicans, while we have great ideas, and I firmly believe that we do, messaging to the American people exactly how it's going to influence their lives day to day is something that Republicans have not been successful at. If they can figure out how to message this and tell them how this will change their lives, you bring back that foreign revenue and inject our economy with over $2 trillion into jobs, amazing effect that it could have well, on the economy. I, we could so, see three or four so percent So, Pablo, growth. you're right in that the Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren side of this will say this is nothing but a tax cut for the rich. It's they nothing will. but a tax cut for businesses, for corporate America. And what they are constantly forgetting is that it is business that creates jobs that then therefore True. helps all of America. And so you're right.
Ned and Pablo, we need to enforce that message on both sides of the aisle, for sure. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I, I Thanks, uh, appreciate you being here. Joining me right now with more on all this is Congressman Dave Brad, a member